New overnight, it was a very busy night for Detroit firefighters. Crews have been dealing with dozens of fires all over the city in the past 24 hours. At one point overnight, crews were told that there would be no rehabs or breaks between scenes because those calls just kept coming in. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel is live now with the story. Brian. Yeah, I knew that busy night has turned into a busy morning. Take a look. It's still going on. Another scene right here. We are on Anglin near McNichols, and this crew right here, they knocked out a fire at an abandoned home, but the fire chief of Battalion 8 here says that this is at least their fourth fire that they've had a battle this morning, and that's not the hardest hit of all the battalions in the area. They say it's busier than Devil's Night here, and the chief, he has it easy compared to battalions four and six. Many of the dozens of fires overnight on the east side in Gratiot area to the point where rehab, the minimum rest time before a firefighter can go out again, thrown out. There's just too many fires and not enough people to fight them. Uh, also on the west side, where you're seeing right now, McGraw uh, near Warren, that is the area where there was another abandoned home, but the fire did damage an occupied home next door. Two dogs that live next door, they were killed because of smoke inhalation from that fire. And then again on the west side, once again near Warren and Brace Street, abandoned home again, this time rekindled from an earlier fire that you're seeing. So fire crews added insult to injury, had to come back to that home again. Now the battalion chief here that was on scene with me, he tells me that these fires, they're a mix between arson and fireworks, and they don't believe that their work is over just yet. Reporting live in Detroit, Brian Abel, 7 Action News.